Welcome to PCB fabrication video. Here, fabrication is achieved using toner transfer method. First, one has to develop the board layout using any CAD tool like CADSOFT Eagle, in which only the copper part, pads and wires need to be retained. Now print the design on photo glossy paper in black and white using only laser printer and now the inkjet. Material requirements are copper coated board, iron box, hacksaw blade, PCB handrail and ferric chloride. As being shown in the video, cut the desired pattern from the printout leaving borders around it. Mark the dimensions of the glossy paper on copper coated board using CD marker. Hold the PCB board firmly and cut the plain copper coated board corresponding to the markings using hacksaw blade with maximum possible precision. Overlap the glossy paper on cut copper board to ensure the dimensions are correct. After ensuring the dimensions are correct, in order to thoroughly remove the dirt, dust and greasy particles that they get deposited over the copper surface, thoroughly scrub the board using metallic sponge until you obtain clean, shining and reflective surface as you can here see in the video. After this is done, overlap the printed glossy sheet on the scrubbed copper board. Now, to imprint the board layout onto the copper board, you have to iron the overlapped copper board with maximum heat. This has to be done with proper insulation like insulating materials like cloth. The board corners, borders and entire surface has to be evenly ironed for about 15 minutes. Now, carefully soak the iron board in hot water. Boiling water is preferable since it peels off the paper and does a better job. Soak the board in boiling water for about 25 minutes. So the paper itself may get separated from the board. If not, you may need to peel it yourself. Now, slowly remove the paper sticking to the board. So that you can see only the donor part sticking onto the plain copper board. Use a pinpoint object to remove the paper stuck between the donor parts. But make sure that the toner on the board is not distorted. Now take a plastic container and add etching agent that is 100 grams of ferric chloride to 500 ml of water. Make sure not to touch the ferric chloride solution. Place the board inside the solution for about 15 minutes. Keep stirring the solution for every 2 minutes. Lift the board from the solution using only a glass rod or any non-metallic materials. Check whether the board is completely etched. If the process is not completed, dip the board again. Once the board is completely etched, remove the board from the ferric chloride solution and wash the board with fresh water. After all previous steps are done, you have to thoroughly scrub the entire surface of the board with metallic sponge until no toner is remaining on the board. Now, wash the printed copper board with plain water to remove unwanted deposition so the printed circuit board looks like this. Using a hand PCB drill of 1 mm bit, drill the board at pads and wires. While drilling, don't forget to hold the drill straight to avoid breaking of the bit. After correctly soldering all the desired components onto the printed circuit board, this is how printed circuit board finally looks like. Thanks for watching.